Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi, guys. And our next Tarantino film is The Hateful Eight. And Which I was just you saying, haven't seen either, so. I have not seen this. Okay. I didn't really know it existed until a oh. year ago. We were just saying before we started how, like, in the popular discourse of Tarantino films, I never really hear this one brought up. So I don't oh. know what, like, Tarantino is popular across the board, but or at well, least like, liked, or... At, at least like others are more, I guess, more popular stuff like Django yeah, or maybe. Kill Bill or okay. that. But did this come out um, like a while after Django then? I guess because uh, Django, I believe, was twenty twelve. This is two thousand fifteen. Oh. Oh, so okay. more yeah. or less regular course okay. for between movies. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the only only thing I know is the cast. I looked it up before we started. So there's a lot of Tarantino regulars. Uh, Sam Jackson ah. with kind of a crazy looking white beard. Uh, I believe Kurt Russell is also <gasps> in this one. Let's hope he's playing a good he guy compared to Stuntman right. Mike. Mom was a little bit scarred <laughs> that, by that experience. Yeah. Yeah, I think a, a lot of familiars, even like maybe like Tim Roth and a couple others that we haven't wow. seen for a okay. while. And it's it's a Western. Western, I was going to say. Just yeah. on, the, on the posters, there's something about like a snow, like a snowy cabin I keep seeing. So yeah. that's kind of the extent of my knowledge on that one. But it's I'm, I'm definitely excited for like a... Uh, I'm more of a fan of Tarantino's later works like Inglorious Bastards or... Um, once upon a time in Hollywood, so I'm I'm probably gonna love this one. So I can't wait to just dive on in. I'm sure you're excited for more more tense conversations and sudden bursts of violence. And... Yes, <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, admit it, you drink the Kool Aid. You love this. <laughs> All right. All that being said, let's check it out. Kurt had so much fun in the other one. He came back for another one. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer Jason Lee. Wow. Whoa. Seen her for a while. Yeah. Walton Goggins again. Oh. <laughs> We're selling Django, remember? Mm -hmm. Michael Madsen. Oh, it's been a minute since we've seen him. So other people must say, I'm not even going to audition because Tarantino's just going to pick all the same people again. Oh, oh Bruce Dern. Dern. Wow. We saw him for all of two minutes in Django. Yeah. James Perks. <laughs> Channing Tatum? I didn't know he was in a Tarantino oh. movie. <laughs> He's great, though, you know? I've, he, I've seen him in different things, and he e rises to Ever the Ever since 21 Jump Street, he's been yeah. killing it in comedies. Yeah. Yeah, he's always have chapters, eh? Yeah, Django didn't have them, and uh, I think only just like one or two oh, haven't, okay. haven't done that format. What the hell? Whoa! Oh! Uh, Got room for one more? Trying to bring a couple no-goods in the market. Got the paperwork on them in my pocket. He's a contemporary of Dr. King Schultz. <laughs> you take them two guns of yours and you lay them on that rock <gasps> over here. Kurt. <laughs> I'll be is that dumb. a woman? Oh, is black that guy? Is that Jennifer Jason Lee? It is. It's got a big black eye. Yeah. Dahmer Goo, to you, this is Major Warren. Howdy, nigga. <laughs> she got chainsaw. Yeah. Look at his mustache. Yeah. Even more epic than the, the one in Tombstone. Oh, isn't she a peach? Yeah. Hey, you ain't really gonna let that nigger ride in here, is ya? I mean, maybe up there with OB, but- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wonder what she did. Oh, look at that. Right, that. right out of the storm. That's a cool shot. Isn't it? Yeah. Riders in the storm. <laughs> Dude, coconut giddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this Daisy Damagoo? No damn good murdering bitch, that's who. Okay. I'll give you, he got guts. But in the brains department, you're like a man who took a high dive in a low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh. Oh. Kurt, stop it! Well, depends on what you did. If it's as serious as he makes it out to be. You still got it? I still got what? The Lincoln letter. Of course. The light shining yeah. on it. And <laughs> did they mean like Lincoln? Lincoln wrote that. Or? Lincoln or? Old Mary Todd's calling, so I guess it must be time for bed. They shared a correspondence during the war. They was pen pals, and this. Wow. Of the letters. Oh no no no! Yeah. Oh, Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, he's cuffed her. As soon as they pulled it out, I thought, is she gonna spit on it or try and? Okay, he just uncuffed. Rip there. it up or? Oh. oh, there it is. I didn't. 
Drag her stinking ass up this goddamn mountain just for you to break her neck on the outskirts of town. She needs one of those masks on, you know? Like Hannah Lecter. Yeah. What? <laughs> Picking up all the strays today. Mm-hmm. And your weapons to the driver. A little jumpy, ain't you? We're doing this again. He's yeah. reaching out with a gun. I done done it. Oh, oh um, me, you got him? Walton Goggins. I got ah. him. Okay, fella. Well, Mr. Face, I was riding a Red Rock. My horse stepped in a gopher hole in the snow, fucked up his leg, had to put her down. Oh. You got business in Red Rock? Yes, I do. What? I'm the new sheriff. Oh, shit. <laughs> not. Where's your star? Well, I ain't the sheriff yet. You don't get the star till you get there. <laughs> your nigga with the head. My with the head? Don't they all have a head? Everyone has heads. <laughs> Major Marquess looking at me now? Yeah, it's really me and it's really my head. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, Y'all having a bounty hunter's picnic? <laughs> <laughs> the convention. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you protect your 8,000. You help me protect my ten. Deal? <laughs> I know about a $30,000 reward the Confederacy Ooh. put on the head of Major Marquette. How them hillbillies went nigga head hunting? They just never did get them the right nigga head, did they? No, they didn't. You had your share of country boys coming to call. <laughs> you know I did. Why'd they have a reward on you? Confederates took exception to my capacity for killing. <laughs> you ain't never heard of Wellenbeck Prisoner War Camp. Well, the whole damn place was just made out of kindling. Oh. I burnt it down. <laughs> <laughs> She's all in with it. Now. Yeah. Oh. Don't you say anything about Poor my slap. daddy. What he fought for was dignity in defeat and against the unconditional surrender. Mm. Cause when niggas are scared, that's when white folks are safe. Oh God. Yep. It's like the one Family Guy clip I saw where it's like the the South surrendering after the war. It's like yeah. it's like so we get to keep all of our, our land and still get to be dicks. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Haberdashery. Yeah. This is Colorado, maybe. Yeah. Hey, here! I'm running the place, mother God. Where's Minnie and Sweet Dave? What? <laughs> Kicking up on! There's Bruce Dern. And... Close the door! You gotta nail it shut! You have to! You have to nail it shut! Oh, jeez! <laughs> There's a hammer and nails by the door! You have to nail it shut! It's right. hammer and nails by the... You have to... Oh, Tim Roth. Yeah. Haven't seen him since Pulp Fiction. No. Bruce Dern alive? <laughs> I think I said it's on the link. You need two pieces of wood! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Fix your door! Say so don't... just one piece of wood! <laughs> Give me another piece of wood. Down there, Aaron. Give me another piece. <laughs> God. And the other two want to come in. They kick it open and then they... Plus the guy... That they start all over again. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> they just leave wood by the door to keep nailing it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, good heavens. A woman? Out in this white hell, you must be frozen solid, poor thing. Oh, right, that's awful. Christ Almighty, what that Mexican fella do? Soak his old socks in a pot? Uh, I, I think we all felt the same way, but we're a little too polite to say. He's playing like a like a popish yes. gentleman type. Yeah, British. Uh... Get your hand out of there. Jennifer Jason Lee reads the script. You will be cuffed to Kurt Russell the whole movie. I will do it. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> right, yeah. You have a warrant? Of course I do. May I see it? Is he like a judge or something? I don't know, yeah. What's your name, Buster? Well, it's Oswaldo Mowbray. What the hell kind of a name is that? He looks really happy that that's his name. Let's just say I don't like cheating a hangman. He got to make a living, too. <laughs> Introduce myself. He's the hangman? I'm Oswaldo Mowbray, the hangman in these parts. Oh, he is the hangman. <laughs> wow. Oh, the bar is open. Follow moi. I love, like, the, the posh accent he's yeah, playing Yeah, and he's all giddy. And... <laughs> 
Damn, they're still putting horses away here. Well, there's six of them, yeah, so. Yeah, true, yeah. The horses are happy to get a break. Yeah. At least until they run into Samara in the barn. Oh, God. Do that. <laughs> I think I'd rather hold it than have to go out to that outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> and they're filming it during an obvious blizzard, too, so. Yeah. People are freezing their asses off. Because we know they can make it rain sometimes, but I don't think they can make it snow like this. No. Or not have it, like, look real. Yeah, right, yeah. Because this is definitely real. Yeah. We've said it before, as people who live with snow six months out of the year, <laughs> we definitely notice when it's fake, yeah. and we appreciate it when they go to the effort. Yeah. <laughs> All those chains. Yeah. And we haven't talked to Bruce Stern yet, or this dude in the corner. Yeah. Who's left? Michael Madsen. There you go. Ah! Ah, there, there he is. <laughs> And ain't no way I'm spending a couple of nights under a roof with somebody I don't know who they are, and I don't know who you are. So, who are you? The name's Bud. <laughs> Made a pretty penny, and uh, figured I'd come home and spend time with my mother. He looks a lot older. Mm-hmm. Mind you, what's the difference between Reservoir Dogs and this one, and, and time-wise, right? Well, I mean, because Kill Bill was like 2003. This is a good 12 years oh, after okay. that, so... Yeah. Christmas with mother, I mean, it's a wonderful thing. It is. Isn't it? <laughs> Hello, old timer. General. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You gotta kick it. Ah! Yeah. You gotta kick it open. We go through this whole song and dance again. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, get the door. You gotta nail it. The <laughs> devil. Hammer up aboard. Hammer nailed by the door. Hammer nailed by the door. Oh, God. You're freezing your ass off when you gotta do this first. Uh. And we gotta do this again when, when Sam Jackson and the, the other guy come back in. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. That door's a whore. <laughs> That's like their Vox Machina. Oh, my fingers! It's not a door. It's a thing of evil. <laughs> You're coming into Red Rock to hang Lance Lawson. Precisely. Do you have the execution on his own? In my bag. May I see him? Of course. <laughs> Everyone wants to see each other. He must be the sheriff paper. because he knew that. Right? True, yeah. Who else would know that if you're well unless you're the the buddy of the guy in jail right mm. well 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 looks like minnie's happy dash is about to get cozy for the next few days <laughs> and the three of them that makes eight there you go yeah you got the magnificent seven the dirty dozen yeah and the hateful eight <laughs> the letter from abraham lincoln why does he and think I'm it's sorry, him oh somebody, somebody in your party uh, okay black fell in the stable the nigger in the stable has a letter from Abraham Lincoln? His voice. Like, what? In the stable has a letter? I love her good talk. Minnie and Sweet Day went to visit her mother on the north side of the mountain. What? Yeah. That sure don't sound like Minnie. Uh oh. Something going on? Yeah. Did he kill them or something? I'm th thinking, yeah. Uh. Still stinking up the place with old quill pipe tobacco? He's gonna lie, right? Mm. One of those tests, you know. Yeah. She doesn't smoke a pipe. She rolls her own. Red apple tobacco. Red apple. The cigarettes, remember from Kill Bill and Pulp Fiction? Is that General Sanford Smithers I see? May I sit down, sir? According to the Yankees, it's a free country. <laughs> <laughs> My son, Chester Charles Smithers. He died out here a few years oh. back. He came out here to the hills of Wyoming to make his fortune. Never to be heard from again. Oh, it's like that, I think, in the old days, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. You have to hold it close while I nearly shot. <laughs> Ooh, the idiot broke the damn door. <laughs> <laughs> We need two pieces of wood. 
Now, how many of all of these people are really who they say they are? Yeah, that's right. Like if someone killed the real person, took their yeah, identity. I think, or... I think Kurt Russell. We we're good on him, right? Yeah. Who he is? Do you know that nigga, sir? But I know he's a nigger. And that's all I need to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like today, that's the way. Dignity and defeat, I believe you said. Yeah. I know Americans aren't apt <laughs> to let a little thing like unconditional surrender get in the way of a good war. <laughs> this character is playing it. We don't restage the Battle of Baton Rouge during a blizzard Rouge. in Minnie's haberdashery. It almost sounds like a cartoon voice. Yeah, but I'm waiting for him to twirl his mustache and go hee hee hee. <laughs> yeah, Warren, that's the problem with old men. You can kick him down the stairs and say it's an accident, but you can't just shoot. Oh, <laughs> One of them, maybe even two of them, is here to see. This Dumber is starting to feel free. like an old west version of Clue. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. All they gotta do is sit tight and wait for a window opportunity and that's oh i didn't think any of them had anything to do with her oh that's Just true other things right yeah this here is daisy domergu she's <laughs> i'm taking this woman into red rock to hang <laughs> it's like when you're in an airplane they demonstrate like the, the seat belts and the, the exits and well it's funny that kurt russell's here because with the cold outside and they're stuck inside, they're all yeah. suspicious. Makes me think of the thing as well. Yeah, true, yeah. Like, someone here isn't who they say they are. Yeah. I ain't ever going out in that shit! Ever! Ever again! Did you run the buffalo hide? Yes. <laughs> Give me the biggest fur yeah. next to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> no one talk to me. I feel you, buddy. I said that one time I had to stand outside for an hour waiting for the bus in like minus 30 weather. Oh. Wearing nothing but jeans. Lost all feeling in my legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got a letter from Abraham Lincoln? Yes. The Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. John Rue, you really think a nigger drummed out of the Calvary with a yellow stripe down his back? was practically friends with the President of the United States of America. Was all that horseshit? <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Jesus. You were Warren! <laughs> Not bad, Sam! Oh, she's gonna get smacked again. Here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's true what they say about you people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? You got no idea what it's like being a black man facing down America. The only time black folks are safe is when white folks is disarmed. And this letter had the desired effect of disarming white folks. Oh. Okay, first, uh, first secret revealed. <laughs> may I join you? Yes, you may. Did a hell of a lot better than either one of my no good brothers, that's for damn sure. <laughs> hey, boy, I come up here a few years back. Your daughter Laura's done quite well. <laughs> <laughs> you knew my boy. Oh. <gasps> one of his bounties. Uh. Ah. I know the day he died. The day he met me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Huh. Why did he do that? He come up here to do a little nigger head hunt. Mm. By then, the reward was old. 5,000 bragging. Right. Make his fortune. Okay. If you just let me go home to my family, <laughs> I swear I'll never set foot in Wyoming again. I had the son. Of the bloody nigger killer of Baton Rouge? Uh. <laughs> I knew me I was gonna have some fun. Then I told him to start walking. Jeez. Oh. Cause that's what they did to them? Is that, yeah. Yeah. And we saw a little bit of that kind of stuff in Django. Mm-hmm. 
beautiful vista. Yes. Not with this on it, though. No. You'd be surprised what a man that cold would do for a blanket. You want to know what your boy did? Uh-oh. Mm. I pulled my big oh, black okay. pecker. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. And I made him crawl through the snow on all foes over to it. Oh, gosh. And Chester Charles Smithers sucked on that wall. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. You gonna spend the next two, three days ignoring the nigga that killed your boy did he kill him do you think i don't know there's enough ambiguity it could yeah. go either way Ooh. okay he drew on him first that's all she wrote i was waiting for the other guy though chris to jump up and mm -hmm. wow okay. okay one down seven to go hmm. Oh, jeez. Mm. What? Is she pregnant or something? She's not really Darmagu or... Who did oh, she... maybe. They haven't said who she killed. Mm, yeah, right. And it's worth, like, $10,000, mm -hmm. so... Straws were drawn to see who'd help him. That's Tarantino talking. Obi lost. Oh, poor Obi again. Ugh. Byard ignored them, sat at the table by himself, and drank brandy. Mm. While Major Warren was captivating the... Oh and white mouths. Somebody poisoned the coffee. Oh. Oh. And the only one to see him do it. Okay. Was Domrigo. So that's her, the secret the chapter was yeah. referring to. She saw yeah. who did it. Yeah. That's okay, why so we know it wasn't called. <laughs> Domrigo's got a secret. <laughs> Someone recorded Tarantino during like a table read of the script yeah. and then they put it in the, in the movie. He's like, wait, what? I was just reading the script. Yeah. <laughs> Can I play that guitar over there? Hmm. Why don't you go play? Yeah. You gotta nail the door. <laughs> gotta nail the goddamn door with the boards. <laughs> Seems to be a calming affair now instead of a frantic one. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're all drinking the coffee now. Mm. Well, she's not going to say anything. No. So, we've ruled them out. <laughs> Marquis and mm. the one that's dead. You know, it can't be him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead. Sing it. She's all happy now. Yeah. Oh, do this. When I get to Music time's over. What? I didn't know we were at a concert. <laughs> you know, the old. <laughs> John, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shut <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. <coughs> oh, he was still drinking more coffee there. Oh no. Holy shit! Yeah. Drop that coffee. Yeah. Don't drink it. I mean, a lot of poisons, even a little bit, can kill oh, you. Yeah. When you get to hell, John, <coughs> tell him Daisy sent you. Punch her in the face one last time. Oh, jeez. You can. Oh, he did! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. There you go. Oh. If he's. Oh, Jesus! Whoa. Oh, God. Coughing up his guts. It's like they drank bleach. <laughs> yeah. He thinks she did it, though. Well, the way she's acting, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. That he unlocked her for that minute, and then she... There we go. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. It's like the, oh. con it's like the conjuring. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just... It's like all the blood in their body has to come out through their mouth. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well, so long, Kurt. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Look at her. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Carrie. Yeah. Don't test me, bitch. Yeah, for being, like, one of the most 
adorable and attractive actresses of the 80s. Like, mm. she looks real, like, yeah. mean and nasty in this movie. Well, it wasn't... It, well, we, yeah, we know it wasn't him. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting... Didn't get! I'm getting... <laughs> okay. Two more down. Yeah. But OB, poor guy. Yeah. He had to do all the work. Well, we know it wasn't Maddox, because he was drinking it. Or he was about to, yeah. Let me hear you say, I got it. I got it. I got oh, it. Go ahead. We have it. <laughs> Mannix, come over here on this side. Mm. Yeah, we know you're... Ironically, he's the only one he can trust. Yeah, really. <laughs> Take this gun out of my holster. <laughs> now, one of y'all is working with her. Or two of y'all... Is working with him. Uh, all y'all is. <laughs> but OB wasn't hanging yeah. nobody. He damn sure wasn't. But he's sure enough laying over there dead now, though, ain't he? He damn sure is, you <laughs> sons of bitches. Just like any one of us would have drunk that coffee. Like me, goddammit. <laughs> oh, that's right, Joe Gage. I'm looking at you. Not so fast, Chris. No, I think it's Bob. I think it's the hangman. I think so? It's oh like, yeah, I mean that's... It's like Dwight Schrute said in the office, you suspect the most or the least, but the middle. Yeah, true. Uh, this may be menace, please! But this is damn show. Sweet Dave's chair. It got blood all over it. This chair be going with him. Yep. Oh! <laughs> there it is. Sweet Dave's goddamn blood. Oh! <laughs> He's all impressed. Yeah. Got some splaining to do, bub. Or we go by my theory, which is the ugliest guy did it. <laughs> he looked like that, Joe Gates. Uh. Both of y'all murdered Minnie, Sweet Dave, and whoever else picked this bad luck day to visit Minnie's haberdashery this morning. <laughs> I think everybody loves saying haberdashery, don't we? It's, it's just a, a it's fun, a fun word. word. Yes. Yeah. But you didn't count on the blizzard. Mm. And you didn't count on the two of us. Hmm. Yeah, they only counted on uh, Kurt. Yep. You want to know what that sign says, Senor Bob? No dogs oh. or Mexicans allowed. But when you tell me, Minnie Mink mm. took the habit Give it to him, yeah. Then you killed Minnie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and one for Dave, too. One for each. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I didn't look. Oh. I didn't look because I didn't. Oh. 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 Try to imagine popping a grape. Oh, no. That's what happened oh, to his head. Oh, no. If I don't hear a confession from one of you motherfuckers, quick. Oh, we're going to feed you the coffee. Here you go. Yeah. It was me. I poisoned the coffee. I fucking knew it! <laughs> He's so happy to be right. <laughs> yes. Can I kill him? Those two young weevils. Who's this? Channing Tatum! <laughs> what, what, the, what the hell happened? He shot him in the nuts. Channing Tatum? Yeah. Why? Oh! He got a gun. Oh no. Everybody's killing everybody. Yeah. Oh Jesus. In proper Tarantino fashion. Yeah, right. Oh God! I completely forgot Channing Tatum I totally was in the did cast. Too. <laughs> He's gonna shoot him anyway. Yeah. Wow, this turned. Yeah, everybody qu quick. got shot except he's gonna do something here. You'd be better. He'll shoot be him better. anyway. Oh no, he looked uh, away. There you go. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, four. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't count on a, another person being here. No. Escalated, eh? I, it, it did. The four passengers. We're gonna see what happened when they came here to Minnie's and killed her, took the place over. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, if they're helping her, they must have got out ahead of them. Yeah. Like they would know he was taking her and then get out ahead of them. Somehow. I guess there was only like the one stop before you get to Red Rock. Oh, okay, so. that's how they knew. Yeah. But they were ahead, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's Zoe Bell. Oh, okay. Here we are, everybody. Minnie's haberdashery. <laughs> Step outside. You... This will be the, the gang, the Mexican guy, Channing Tatum, and then uh, Tim Roth. So. Yeah. What about Gage? 
What's he got to do with it? He might just be a separate guy in his own. Yeah. Let's see here. Oswaldo Mowbray. Uh, yeah. Joe Gage. Gage, see? Oh. oh. And I'm Jody. Channing oh. Mother Flippin' Tatum. <laughs> I never would have thought. No. Yeah. Okay. No, it sure not warms your ass up. You don't need to sell it, Minnie. You need to make it. And you need to get your ass out there and help Charlie. So they must have taken out... Like, all these people. Yeah, her and the guy with the ride, the driver and... Yeah. Well, he must have been here then when they got killed. The general. Oh, right? yeah. Right. Yeah, because he's here right now. Like, all the people there except all the four bad guys were... Well, given that the, the you know, owner of the establishment is a black woman, I, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't imagine he'd offer many, many complaints over it. No. Mm. Oh, okay. Just because he didn't have a gun when the shooting started, so yeah. he seemed kind of out of it, but I guess not. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. No, Zoe. We have to do all that, right? Oh. That's why the door got broken. Right. Okay. Oh. I was going to say, there was no bullet hole. Jesus. Ah. Oh. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, he got shot, though. Nowhere to go? Where are you gonna go? Yeah. Uh, just track him down. Ugh. Jesus. Well, I must admit, it does make the setup more convincing. There's the real accent. Yeah. Oh. Well, so... I just thought of working here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, but none of them did. Uh. Poor guy. Yeah. And when it comes to that pile of niggas that we building out back, it won't take nothing to make you general of it. You believe that? Yeah, it's not too often Channing Tatum plays a villain. Yeah. You might have a way out of this yet. Well, he's so unlikely for a Tarantino movie, but here we are. And he's doing a good job. Mm-hmm. Son of a gun. He's gonna come in here. And he's gonna have my ah, sister. There we go, him. sister. I was gonna say it's his sister. There we go. And don't you say nothing, and I mean nothing, to that bounty hunter that's got my sister. Do you understand? Yes. And the ironic thing is, Bruce Dern was the first one to die. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> for a totally different reason. <laughs> yeah. Stash weapons for further use. Uh, there you go. That's how he had a gun when yeah. he gave one to Kurt Russell. Mm hmm. All right, boys, this is it. Let's get ready. So the others are just part of his gang, or? I guess so, yeah. What a motley crew, though. A Mexican guy, a British guy. Oh, yeah. So the name of the game here is Patience. Yeah, it's fun seeing him be like the yeah. ringleader of the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. There we go. One hold, one hammer. Mm-hmm. Open up! You have to kick it over! <laughs> what? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Now, back to a slaughter. Last chapter. <laughs> Black man, white hell. That's fairly accurate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How you doing, old boy? Oh, they shot my nuts off. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Where about these owl hoots? That bushwhacking nut shooter in the basement. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. <laughs> yeah. With your hands where we can see them. Slowly come on up. Like molasses. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, dummy? Better. Now I see your ugly face. Your teeth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How you like that? <laughs> your bushwhacking. <laughs> 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 she has her brother's brains yeah. all over him. <laughs> Trap, <no. laughs> that's more or less what oh. happened to uh, to Bob's head earlier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, oh. The table. There's a gun. <gasps> Keep your hands. Oh shit. Oh, flat on the table. He said. Yeah. That fella y'all just killed in the basement was Jody Domingue. My brother. Well, who the hell is Jody <laughs> Domingue? 
You want to tell him, Bounty Man? <laughs> he was a big bad cat, worth uh, fifty thousand. Whoa! And every member of his gang was worth at least ten. There you go. Jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> Jody got 15 men waiting at Red Rock. Uh -huh. mm. We couldn't kill John Ruth and free Daisy here. Their job was to sack the town. Wow. Jeez. He had it all figured out. Yeah. Plans and plans. Chris, I'm <laughs> telling you, you ain't done anything yet that we can't forgive. You shot me. Yes. <laughs> no deal, bitch. You gonna let that nigger speak for you, Chris? Hold it, Warren. Hmm. Because when that snow melts, the rest of Jody's gang, all 15 of them that were waiting in Red Rock, mm. are coming here. So that means you're going to have to lead a string of horses into Red Rock. And with that deep snow after a blizzard, you ain't going to be able to get away with any more than, say, one body per horse. Boy, she's doing real good. Yeah. And it's, again, so different for her, too. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. You'd never know looking at her that that's Jennifer Jason Lee. Yeah. The same sweet one that was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I heard it once described that every little boy in the 80s, even the gay ones, had yeah. a crush on her. <laughs> well, it wasn't just her, too. It was Phoebe Cates was yeah. the one. They're going to go back to Red Rock and kill every son of a bitch in that town. Yeah, she's like a demon with her yeah. teeth and with all the yes. blood. and She's great. They're dead. There you go. <laughs> oh, 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 you believe in Jesus now, huh, bitch? <laughs> the deal still stands, Chris. Hmm. You ain't done nothing we can't forgive. So it all comes down to Chris. Yeah. But or... I mean, you should know from a gang, right? They're gonna just turn on you immediately after you do what they want. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There, there we you go. go. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, they got him. Yeah. She's dead or alive, so shoot her. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Just, he's probably out of bullets now. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, he's out of bullets. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, look at his face. It's all down to Chris. Oh, yeah. Give me my best. Get here! Uh, down to the wire. Oh. You were saying... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sit here all nice and friendly like. You gonna make a deal with this diabolical <laughs> bitch? I like how they're using the distortion just to reflect how he's like yeah. ble bleeding out and his brain is. <laughs> no deal, Tramp. Oh. You watched me pour a cup and you mm -hmm. didn't say shit. Yeah. And my brother leads an army of men. Horse shit. My daddy. <laughs> I was gonna say his dad has a whole like. Yeah. My daddy held up to four hundred men together after the war with nothing but their respect in his command. Your brother's just an owl who, who let a gang of killers. Yeah. I don't feel so good. Uh oh, shit. oh, god damn it! And he's too far away yeah. for a gun. Can she get there? She has to drink. Oh no, oh, God! The machete uh, over there. Oh no, yeah. She's gonna hack off his arm to oh. to get loose. There we go. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus! Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh Chris, okay. Oh, good job. Oh, he's probably gonna shoot him too. I don't know what's gonna happen to anybody here. Yeah. <laughs> John Roof was one mighty, mighty bastard. Oh, yeah. God. And that's how we kill this bitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I say shooting's too good for her. Mm-hmm. John Roof. Was to hang me. Yeah, or they're gonna hang her. There we go. God, how are the two of them managing this? Oh. Yeah, and it won't be quick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I sent it to you, Domagoo, to hang by the neck until death. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, it's Kurt Russell's arm. Oh, geez, she's still holding it. Still, <laughs> it's attached to, to the oh, manacles. All right. She even got those shoes on like the witches wore. And <laughs> Can I see that Lincoln letter? I hope this letter finds you in good health hmm. instead. I'm doing fine. Okay. We still have a long way to go, but hand in hand, I know we'll get there. As they show a hand, hand in hand. Oh, Mary Todd. That's a nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Imagine the next stagecoach that comes along. Oh, stop good it. I have God. a luxury and they open the door <laughs> or kick the door in or whatever. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okie dokie. That was the hateful eight. That was great. I thought it was really good. It was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Was, I didn't know where it was going and there and was a lot of talking again. And it's like, okay, naturally. I don't understand that. Yeah. Now, but, <laughs> but then. Well, okay. it, it's funny because um, actually the one thing I saw from this movie is when someone put the poison in the coffee. Because when I first was looking into how to write screenplays, yeah, I was looking up different, say, like online courses and, and just like reading, say, like directors talking about scripts and there was a tarantino thing uh, it was either a master class or just on youtube but he was talking about how he writes his movies and he said about this when he wrote in the script someone poisons the coffee he didn't know who it was at first oh and he said he just, just kind of figured of that out after yeah. the fact it, okay. it was like something that he th kind of threw into the story yeah to add oh, to the, the mystery huh? thing yeah, the right, plot yeah. that was kind of fun to see yeah uh, did not see channing tatum under the floor no did not see that coming even though we knew like we, we forgot right? i know like we saw yeah. them in the credits and i was like channing tatum in a tarantino oh, yeah. movie i've but never you, heard of this you do well first. And, and then i yeah, totally forgot right in. he was in it at all and then all of a sudden he shoots sam jackson in the nuts <laughs> god through the floor <laughs> and then it's like all you know sudden intense violence people getting shot yeah. and, then, and then we see kind of the how that was set up which is fun and we saw like the the other side of the the, yeah. the door yes and, and everything how how the door, the door got broken, broken and yeah and almost a a literal murderer's row of tarantino regulars oh, i mean yes. you got michael madsen yeah. tim roth they got sam jackson <laughs> kurt yeah. russell now yeah what's that name guy's name goggins oh walton goggins yeah he's he's really he's good fantastic. i love him yeah yeah like uh yeah. I, I was saying to mom after we saw django that um because he was in uh, sons of anarchy he played venus a transsexual oh. prostitute and actually like because normally that what a transsexual prostitute really yeah because uh -huh. normally he plays like like we saw in django like a villainous character mm -hmm. he's really good with those darker characters but like mm -hmm. that's a much more sympathetic role in sense of anarchy and it actually i think it's like the finest acting he's ever done because oh, wow. like he got more of a chance to shine here as one of the main main mm -hmm. cast and mm -hmm. he's a really good performer he's very good yeah. he's great at being like despicable villain but you know by the end here you, you yeah he was a, good, a lot of sympathy because i was worried that he would turn on uh, uh yeah and sam jackson yeah yeah because it was it was just like funny and like a you know a cosmic irony kind of way how like those two would end up like being the only the only ones who could trust each other because everyone else was yeah. out to get them <laughs> yeah yeah really yeah but then that guy who played bob he was so familiar yes what was, he was his name his face was covered up most of the time and jennifer jason lee like she was real she is a hell of an actress that she's one. amazing you look at, her, at her um her like filmography and... yes wow she's done everything from... yeah because like um she's most well known i think for like say like rom-com stuff yeah, from the 80s yeah. and or like she's she's really good friends with um bloop oh yeah What's from from the good wife uh yeah. what is that guy's name actually and i think uh, they ended up doing something together yeah alan cumming yes yeah there you go yeah who er, played bob did you see uh just looking up hey his name is uh damien bishir bishir we saw that in the beginning i'm damien mangling bishir. that, that okay, pronunciation let me see his sure. picture without all the yeah so here's him just with like a mustache oh, okay yeah I I've seen and you know before. what i think um i saw him in godzilla versus kong ah uh, okay that's where i saw him okay uh hateful eight uh, oh machete kills yeah godzilla versus kong yeah okay i, I recognize the voice more than anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the fantastic like like murder mystery like it made me think of clue you know yeah. and, and, yeah, and, yeah, it's and, and just with kurt russell it made me think of uh the thing 
Yeah. Which is no one can trust each other. We're all trapped and we're surrounded by it by cold. Mm -hmm. And the fact that because it um in the thing, remember Kurt Russell and then um uh, Keith David were the only survivors, mm. and they were kind of just like waiting for death just yes. to see what would happen. And yeah, similar situation with these two at the end. Yeah. But yeah, really fun because Tarantino more or less does like more like action or crime stuff. So it's fun to see kind of like a like a more mystery yes. plot. Yeah. And it's just kind of. And like, I like that you know she got her comeuppance in the end kind of thing. Right? She did, yeah. Because yeah. like the whole time we were wondering like what did she do? What did she do? And just yeah. her general like demeanor. Yeah, she was tell us, right? like she was all like yeah. nasty, like you know just calling them well, slurs and all the it, time. Now and, that we know that they were all worth that. It doesn't matter. It was the bounty on them. They've killed not, numerous they people killed, over exactly. the years. Yeah. yeah. But she was just like, she was nasty, just like, you know, spitting oh, on the letter and oh. calling him slurs. And just like, you know, she's, she's been around all those guys. Like she's, just... well, yeah. I mean, you know, in a group like that, sometimes like the, you know, women are much meaner than the men. <laughs> a, it was just hilarious how there was a running gag. She would like mouth off and get like punched in the face yes. or spit on yeah. or yeah. whatever she yeah. did. But then B, she, the, the longer the movie went on, the more, because the first shot we see of her, she has a black eye. She's like, yeah, like sneering and yeah, mean looking. Yeah. But then as by the end, like when she's like covered in blood, when like there's bits of brain in her hair and her te front teeth are missing, she looks like like the Wicked Witch yeah. of the East. Yeah. You know, she's very just like monstrous. And yeah. Like from an actress who is more well known for more like feel good or more just like, you know, mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. human people. Yeah. Human. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. see her being such like, a you know, a hateful, you know, yeah. like it's gang strange. leader almost like her and her brother. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, once again, I will say Channing Tatum, you know. Wow. Yeah. For just like <laughs> the job, man. Just the one scene. He was like yes. the, the mastermind. He showed off some quiet menace. Yeah. He was he, was he like, looked properly and not like a pretty boy yeah. with a little bit of and, double. And or... He was like charismatic enough. Yeah. Like he, you know, because yeah. some actors when they make the tra transition to say like more action or dramatic from mm -hmm. comedy or just more like like pretty boy stuff, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. But a, he's actually proven himself quite a good performer, like we oh, said, yeah. in, in like Jump Street and other stuff. But B, Tarantino is just such a good director. He can just get these performances out of yeah. any any performer. Yeah. Well, and it, it shows by these guys come doing these movies again and again that they love his material, right? Yeah. They must love the writing and his directing. Yes. Because it's usually not the same person, right? Uh, I saw uh, the other day a clip of an interview, or I think it was on Howard Stern, but uh, Jamie Foxx did it, and it was like years ago for like Django Unchained. Mm -hmm. They were talking about like how Tarantino style as a director because jamie fox said when he first read the script he was kind of doing like like a cool thing like he was like uh, the coolest guy in the room but tarantino yeah. said like cut you know like just yeah. come, come into my office like he gave him to a uh, talking to him. like you know he has a slight like he gave him this whole dressing down yes, and yeah. everything and then you know do this do this you know then he becomes this right like like he knows what he wants from the story yeah, because, and then yeah. howard stern says you know would you work for with Tar tarantino again and jamie fox says absolutely a thousand percent yeah yeah because you know like yeah. he is a true artist oh know? yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was the Hateful Eight, ladies and okay. gentlemen. Uh, many of them were indeed hateful. <laughs> yeah, well, good Lord, yeah. There was not, not all of them. Yeah, no, no. That weren't, but... Yeah, but just a delightful cast, a yes. fun mystery, yeah, you know, a whodunit. Yeah. Turns out almost everyone did. <laughs> yeah. Like like the, the true ending of Clue. Everyone That's killed someone. That's what we someone. call it, Tarantino's version of Clue. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, it was just a delight seeing, you know, one of it, like his more modern day films that I haven't seen before. Oh, it yeah, right, absolutely yeah, delivered. Uh, this is a lot of fun. So yeah. yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed too. If you want to watch the full length of our reaction, I'll put a link down to our Patreon below. All the other Tarantino ones that we have uh, before. And then uh, we got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood coming up, which is my second favorite. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to show Mom that one. Um, all the other movies and shows that we do are there too. So check it out. Yes. And lots. yeah, that's, that's all we have for you today. So we will see you later. Bye guys. Bye.